Hello, everyone, classmates and professor. Um, and welcome back um, to my overall project of stopping talking on the phone and eating sweets. And so, in the questions of what have I learned about myself, what I learned about myself is when I'm doing good and being disciplined and going in a upward motion, I that that is the direction that I'm going, and vice versa. When I am doing bad and everything is goes a rier and um, in all areas uh, are out of control, I am all over the place and just going down, 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 so it's like a downward spiral. This is always an upward spiral. Um, so I have learned that about myself. Now, I have heard that about Pisces because I'm a Pisces. But I probably, I I don't ever think I noticed or been able to see, actually see that about myself. Um, like in in clear of, of plain behavior. You know, generally I'm just being disciplined and structured and things of that nature but in me choosing these two um substances or behaviors and being really aware and paying attention and it it caused me to be able to truly see that about myself and learn it about myself because i i i read would read read up on it but I, I never could see it, you know, I, I, I could only see myself like being moody sometimes, like I'm this way or that way or, you know. So anyway, I learned that um, the process was, um, this process, this whole process was somewhat astounding for me because even at 55, I am still amazed um, to discover uh, something new about myself. Like, uh, it, it, mm, I don't know, it's just, it'd be so intriguing to, <laughs> for me, you know, to learn something new or, or, some, or realize something that's, um, uh, there's something going on or behavior or change or something like that. It's always like really, um, amazing, amazing to me and astounding to me. Um, so, um, so I welcome the process with open arms and at first, generally at first there was always a little struggle with change, even though I love change, but the, making the initial, um, step to do the change, I, I found is, is hard for me. Um, and that's another thing that I learned from doing this project because before then um I didn't I didn't really recognize those things. I pro I might have been going through the things but I, I I didn't recognize them. But this project has been an awesome help to me. Ooh, I am telling you. Okay, so my post treatment behavior for the phone uh changes. I'm not procrastinating as much as I as I as I was and and I'm getting things done like this this right here this uh school assignment I'm getting things done not procrastinating not letting things pile up so much and have to be pushed to the to the end I mean to the um max and um or overwhelmed and trying to get everything done at one time because I procrastinate or I've talked on the phone way too much and that so that is helping with post treatment um and also i'm also going to do a time i've been practicing and doing timing um call, making calls at a certain time so that's been good um for sweet support treatment is to, to stop picking up the candy um so uh i was doing so great and then one day i don't know i think also what i learned is that when I would go bad with the candy, I would also go bad with the phone or or vice versa. Because if I get lax with the phone and forget or something like that, and then I start finding myself doing this. So somewhere there's a connection with these two 
um, behaviors. And uh, I haven't quite put my finger on it yet, but I will. So um, outside environmental influences, because I'm definitely going to continue this, but outside environmental influences, um, I found that, well, with the sweets, it's the job, definitely. I, I've noticed, we work at a doctor's office, but my goodness, every time there's a birthday, there's a lot of cupcakes, there's pizza, there's chicken fried, there's, you know, a lot of unhealthy stuff. And then, you know, they keep candy in the office. And um, now they, um, I don't know what happened, but anyway, they're kind of keeping it out of sight because they said some of the patients might be wanting some or something to that degree, which is good. It works for me because <laughs> that's helping because when I do have to go in the office, I don't, you know, I have to do all like that to <laughs> keep from looking over at the candy because it's, it's like, chocolate and little candies and suckers and all those kind of things is just awesome awesome right so anyway i have learned too that i have been not buying even though when i did go into a lapse i did buy some candy i bought a little pack of candy and then it kind of led to another sweet and another sweet and so that day i kind of went downhill but I'm back on track, um, not doing it, not buying the candy, doing really well. So thank you so very much. And overall, I'm rating myself a seven because I had a lapse or two in there. But I, I'm going to keep this going. And I really think that, um, I think I'm going to conquer it. I really do. I think I'm, I'm going to be boneless and I'm going to be sweetless. All right. <laughs> Thank you so very much for listening. Bye-bye.